Hi Virgos, welcome back to the channel guys. We are doing conversation with your person, but this conversation is going to be about your person. Yes, it is. We're going to ask your person to share something about their self with us. This week I pulled out uh, Steampunk and Gilded Tarot. Pre-shuffle asking which, you know, which deck would like to read for Virgo. Both of them like Virgos, so, but we're going with the Gilded Tarot because I like the response we got from it, which was a Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles on this one. We'll hold Steampunk in reserve in case I need a full deck to clarify anything. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. Just a note about it resonating. We're talking about your person. They're sharing something about their self. It should give you confirmation of the things you already intuitively sense and know about this person. You should be going, ah, see, I knew that. I knew that. If it doesn't do that, check out other sign positions in the extra wild card reading. Let's jump in. Let's see who's coming forward for my Virgos. Whose energy is coming forward the strongest this week for my Virgos? And what will they share about their self? Ooh, we got one laying on the table. Do I feel it? We actually oh, do. We've got an Empress card. Ooh, fertility. Mm -hmm. Abundance. Abundance of something, but divine feminine energy is an influence on this reading from my Virgos. Desires, what we're wanting to manifest. What else are we talking about? A tower, tower, sudden change, a change in beliefs, the way things are going. Mm. Here in faith, do I believe? And two of pentacles. Ooh, two of pentacles is about juggling things in life, acclimating changes that happen in life. It's about balancing. Mm. Sudden change. Tell me about the Empress. Tell me about that divine feminine energy. What change? This is for my Virgo's person. Tell me about the Empress. Our divine mother energy. A page of swords. Ooh, fighting their own thoughts. Page of swords. It's also a messenger. <clears throat> and it's also telling me, because I'm hearing the slave of love through the intellect. <laughs> You know, on the, on the page of cups, I get the slave of love through the heart and the innocence. This person, in when they're in uh, relationships, they think, they try to think their, in logic, their way through um, things when they're, in any connection, any relationship that they have. They have a hard time connecting to the, to the heart. And what I mean, they're not cold. They may appear to be cold, but um, diving deeper into emotions, it makes this person very uncomfortable, especially other people's emotions. Our page of swords is also, for me, um, um, the subconscious, the messenger. So we're going to dive deeper on that one and see what, when they get triggered, when they become uncomfortable by the deeper emotions, talking about heart, things of the heart. I, I want to hear what the message is that triggers for them. Let's go ahead and hear that. Let's go ahead. I'm going to pull the steampunk for it. Because they definitely... It, it, I don't think they feel uncomfortable about their own emotions. It's other people's deeper emotions. It's like it throws them for a minute. They're like, I don't know what to do. If you were to cry, they would be like in a, in in like... What am I hearing? I'd rather have battery acid through on me than try to figure out why you're upset and crying. Mm -hmm. They get become very nervous and uncomfortable. Let's see the message. Star card, future hope. Opportunity. What else? Moving forward, opportunity. Uh battle wagon that chariot card cancer energy and self-restraint oh tell me tell me tell me tell me 
we're gonna pull on, on because this one is saying they they get pulled in different directions or they feel a pull in too many directions they can't get their bearings they self-restrict become indecisive i don't know what to do but let's see what they're saying about that future hope for the future and opportunity to move into the future they restrict their self and oh they give up their idea the triumph of what they're wanting the victory of what they're wanting and they'll put their self-sacrifice so this person avoids drama by giving in and giving up <laughs> i don't know how else to put that um, it's probably something that they learned if, if they wanted to do something or they have a desire to do something. And it can be as simple as we're going out to eat and this person says, I want to go to this restaurant. And you're like, "Hey, no, they would immediately get upset. Um, not so much upset at you. They would immediately, uh, go get into that nervous energy of, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll eat where you want to eat. They get nervous. They give up, even down to the little things they self-sacrifice. Mm. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper on this. Because they they really do a lot of self-sacrifice. And, and eventually, after doing that for so long, guys, your frustration comes out big time in everything you do. Because mm -hmm. you're always giving up, you don't feel like you're important, that your feelings matter, the things that you won't matter. Let's go deeper. Let's find out why. Why? Because it has something to do with a divine feminine energy, mother energy. So let's go deeper, a little bit deeper on that. Tell, tell us where that first started, where you feel like you can't make a choice, that you have to give up your things that you were wanting. Tradition, hair font, yeah, the way they were raised. Mm -hmm. At least don't sin, that kind of thou shalt and thou shalt not. Uh, someone set the standard. Uh, and guys, don't take it wrong. This, because it, it's insinuating a mother figure that was prominent in this person's life. Don't take it as it was a, just she was a bad mother. No, it's just the influence, the desire to make her happy, to please her, was uh, big time in their mind in in what they wanted as a child, what they wanted to accomplish as a child. Um, so they learned, learned <laughs> dogma from that feminine energy. Not a bad thing. Uh, Ten of Swords. Always feeling stuck. Yeah. Temperance. They learned how to temperance things down to, to hold herself in moderation to self-sacrifice. Ooh. For what, what the Divine Feminine wanted. That's going to bleed over for this person into any relationship, professional, intimate, platonic, you know. It's going to bleed over because they will always give way to what someone else wants. They won't voice their own needs too much. Uh, they'll go quiet. Go quietly into the night and not say anything. Mm. Let's find out because right here. Is their frustration, they're tired, and they feel drained of trying to be perfect for everyone. Mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles is about perfectionism and determination to perfect something. Uh, the reason they do that, they're afraid of they'll lose you if, if you're not happy. And they, oh, this guard, protect, and courageous mm -hmm. love love to protect the love because they feel like if if they upset someone oh my goodness more than likely the divine feminine in their life uh, when they weren't happy with this person they they voiced it big time um whether intentionally or unintentionally they just voiced a lot of disappointment and and the coldness that they seem to have received from her uh, felt like they lost her 
they lost her. So they, they learned a tight grip of let me do what I need to do not to upset and lose, lose the person that I love. So, God, okay. Let's do, let me find out what the tower is. Because that tower is divine intervention, something changing. It's changing the way you believe, the way you see things. Mm, let's find out what that is. Because y'all know, a lot of times it's sudden. It feels sudden to you. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a card, you know, that, you know, portells of lightning strike and destruction. It also brings a blessing. A blessing to you. It's got a good energy on it, but it don't feel good at the time. Ow, oh, Nine of Pentacles. Freedom, independence, learning how to have that confidence I can handle things. This person, oh, okay, hold on. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. And Knight of Wands, taking action, the mover. Sagittarius and Virgo energy uh, being played on here. That Virgo energy is telling me whatever happened. Uh, when we look back, when we look back at what what they're telling us about this divine feminine, something happened. They were they were sheltered and protected a lot by this divine feminine. Uh, as a child, they, you know, they were reared up. They had a lot of attention. They could be an only sibling. Could be for some of us because this is, has them very sheltered. They have everything they need. But, uh, but it's also a card of loneliness. It's an indication for some reason they didn't have a lot of friends around them because you see them out in nature or playing with the birds, the butterflies, the snails, stuff like that. So it's an indication they didn't uh, get to have a lot of close bonded friendships uh, when they were younger. They learned to think things through, be very practical. Mm -hmm. But something happened, something has happened that now has them having to utilize uh, everything they've learned about being alone and stand on their own. I'm wondering if um, possibly Parental figures are no longer there that sheltered us. Because uh, they're having a hard time uh, trying to think things through, but also on fire to make some changes to go after the things that they want. Let's see. Because we, over here, this is acclimating changes. Let's find out a little bit more. See what else they want to share on that. Because this is like, uh, you know, fighting within yourself of... Uh, Slow down. Don't do anything hasty. And this person, this this night is going to be pushing you on the other side going, jump. Let's go. Come on. Move. Yes. Don't think about it. <laughs> devil card. Capricorn. Devil restrictive card. Emperor. The main influence. Uh -huh, ruling factor. And there's an opportunity for them uh, to jump, but they're, they don't, they're they're not taking hold of the cup. Hmm. Tell me about the emperor, the main influence right here. What is that main influence? The ruling factor. Five of pentacles. They're afraid there's going to be a lack. They're not good enough. And they're holding that vision. King of cups energy. King, The king of cups Scorpio energy holds the vision. Uh, guys, let's let's stop for a minute. Let me push back because we got two visionaries here. And what I mean by visions, you in, you imagine something. Your imagination is forming an image. Our king knows how to hold that image and perfect that image, and he manifests what it is he's um, got the vision on. This is our young visionary, the one that. that it sparks the 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 vision sparks and starts to build the dream that starts to build so this person is very worried about they got something they want they they keep envisioning it for their future this could be a relationship a job it could be anything but they're not taking action on it because they feel restricted mm -hmm. 
And why? Because the ruling factor, I, I don't really feel like this represents a person. It just be the emperor energy. The ruling factor of something would be the five of pentacles. Lack mentality. There, there wouldn't be enough. I wouldn't be able to make enough. I'm not good enough. There's something lacking uh, that's holding on back. Mm. So we're not getting a whole lot about what the tower moment was, that sudden change, but we do have them acclimating it, which means trying to balance into into it and uh, where the unfamiliar becomes your new familiar. <laughs> yes, it just takes some time to get your balance and get yourself grounded back. Let's see what they want to say on that one. Hmm. Rite of passage. Okay. Okay. Now, their parents, the, the divine feminine, um, the the ones that sheltered them, it's a rite of passage. This person has hit, hit the point of it's time to leave that behind in its scary form. Things feel fa very chaotic and confusing for them. They're trying to get organized with that. Uh, they want to socialize more, more joy and celebration and opportunities. It's time for me to move on. It's uh, it's almost like my Virgos, it's almost like uh, hitting the age of, you know, it's time to leave home. And all the emotions that you go through, that's the suddenness for this person. That's the, all the, all the ruling factors have been brought down. The tower is the ruling factor, you know, what confines you, rules over you, things like that. The standards you go by, that's been let, uh, poof, gone. <laughs> this person is uh, ready to venture out away. And like I said, either this person is like young, really young. We're talking, you know, teens, early 20s. They they would just be like letting go of mom or dad. They would be uh, with that rite of passage that is... Growing up, yes, but it could also have them, because it's a six of swords, moving from point A to point B, they may be moving away, moving away at a distance from feeling that uh, protection, that home hearth safety zone. They're coming out of that, and it's scary, because we, they definitely, they're excited, but it's very confusing for them. Uh -huh. It's a happy, happy with our celebration, Three of Cups, joy, but at the same time, it's scary. They feel off balance a little bit, and but they definitely look into the horizon. Ooh, so this person is definitely acclimating a rite of passage of a leaving safety zone. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Well, that's nice to know because that puts no nuance. Uh, like I said, the reason that the the parent, the garden, the Garden of Eden, because our feminine represents the safe, you know, your garden, your environment. The reason that environment is, I'm, I really don't think it's because somebody's passed away. It's because this person is choosing to grow up and come away from it, come out of the shelteredness of it. Let's see if there's anything else they want to talk about. They're very excited about it, though, but it's very... Chaotic. <laughs> Let me get my bearings. Knight of Cups. Ooh. I like that. Pisces energy. They can actually... Ooh. Devil card. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then the Sun card. Truth. Truth. Clarity. Tell me about the uh, Pisces energy here. Our Knight of Cups. Ooh. Two of Cups. Compromises and sacrifices that we make within a, a committed relationship. And they're making choices. They're learning how to make uh, choices, make some wise choices. <clears throat> mm -hmm. My birthdays, we may be, they may be like moving in with us or we're moving in with them or something is going on because this is an insinuation that they're, they're learning how to make some compromises and sacrifices. 
um, the giving of the heart, that uh, Piscean energy, that Knight of Cups brings the heart out onto their sleeve and offers it to you. They are definitely leaving something that has restricted the ruling factor that has held them back. Uh -huh. Ooh, Legacy. Legacy. Wanting to manifest out into the future. Overcoming some fears. What else? And things are just confusing for them right now. Ooh, so, ooh, okay. So, what am I hearing, guys? It's like knowing that they have to come out from under the wing of mommy and daddy or that whatever that safety zone, that garden, the protective garden is because it's what's more important, choosing what's more important, what's the priority, uh, my future. Uh, is to grow up, yes, and more likely quit relying on uh, whatever that empress is representing for them, that safety zone. Oh, my, the, and they're willingly making these choices. They don't feel forced to, but it's like I said, it's confusing for them. It's a little bit scary. Two of Swords, oh, not allowing uh, circumstances or other people to influence what? The Two of Cups energy. Uh -huh. Ooh, that's like saying that it's just me and you in this connection, not me, you, and them. Oh, yeah. World card transitioning into a new phase, a new beginning. Uh, oh, look. A new connection. Mm -hmm. Being supported. Uh, prioritizing. This has ceremony, honor, respect. A lot of times that's, you know, pre-wedding. We're, we're practicing our wedding. Happy moment of celebration and joy is being in harmony to a cups with each other, being supportive of each other and being there and prioritizing because it incorporates your friends and your families um, also joining in because when you get married, you're marrying someone's family. But this person is prioritizing that no longer is uh, mom, dad, whatever the empress is representing for them, that safety zone, the important thing. The important thing now, they're prioritizing, would be their connection with you. Mm. Getting, their, getting the mindset that they need. They need the mindset. Getting things clear for their self. Uh -huh. And making the changes, transitioning it. Oh my goodness. So basically this person is telling us they're growing up. They're growing up and they're learning what's uh, important to them and setting the priorities to it. I like that. Oh y'all forgive me. I got to get some water. Let's go ahead and get them to choose a deck to give you final messages from the word guys. Oh my goodness. We're going to get two. We'll go with it. We're going to get the flying hearts. We'll close with that one. But I could also feel some energy up on our butterfly deck. And it is the light side of the message. No shadow stuff. Let's see what they're saying. I've waited forever for you. Yep. And I'm hearing I'm not going to mess it up now. <laughs> Desperate. I got desperate. Mm -hmm. I'm always thinking about you. You're my priority is what I'm hearing. I'm always talking about you too, my friends. Mm. I'm not good at communicating my feelings. Yeah, this person, like I said, I think we picked up at the beginning when we start talking deeper heart level. It's like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. This connection is crazy in a good way, y'all. The exclamation mark popped. After knowing you, I will never be the same the world card. Transitioning that change. Slow down. Slow down. We got them fighting with that Knight of Pentacles and that Knight of Wands. They want to rush forward. And then they're part of them going, no, slow down. 
Let's see what they want to say with the flying hearts. This is the light side of part of the Phoenix deck. Let's see what they're going to say. I want to build my life around you. I never want to let you go. Oh my goodness, Virgos. Crush. It's silly of me to want you so badly and yet try to keep it hid and concealed. I feel childish and wonder if you think I act too immature. The bottom part, guys, is what popped. This person is wondering, do you think they are too immature? Because we do have them doing a rite of passage of stepping out into adulthood of what they would consider adulthood. Of, I don't need mommy, daddy no more. You're helping my soul to heal without even realizing it. You make me smile. Oh. Got two more here. We need to spice things up. New adventures in the bedroom. Ooh. One more. I love your sense of humor and the way you make me laugh. You make everything so fun and exciting. Oh, that was sweet, guys. Okay, my Virgos, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings, as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.